Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Truck Climber and in this we get to take control of a monster truck that climbs over giant boulders and little hills and things like that and tries to get to the goal. So very simplistic concept but one that looks really really fun so let's jump in here. Looks like there's multiple kinds of trucks that we can get as well. Okay, buy for coins. Oh my gosh. Do we have, do we have 99,999 coins? Is that what that says? Oh my gosh, why do we have this many coins? The game just wants to give us as many coins as possible at the beginning. These ones, uh, oh, you can't buy these. You have to unlock them with a chest. But I can just go and buy every single one. Okay, I mean, I am I think that might be a glitch, but hey, I'm okay with it. Because look at this. I get every type of truck that I could ever want. Some of these are like, those big wheel cars so they're not really like monster trucks like this one is just like a car with huge tires i love that i'm gonna use the most expensive one the camo monster rally car whatever this thing is we're gonna use that level one okay so we can hit the gas we can hit the brake and then we can rotate our monster car truck thing okay whoa okay all right i have a feeling that if we flip over we lose that's why we can rotate or maybe we just get stuck or something, but it doesn't matter because boom, we leveled up. We're going to the next level. That was pretty easy. That was a good first level. Now, I don't know if this is like randomly generated or anything like that. Whoa, okay, here we go. We might find out in a second. All right, have to go in reverse a little bit there. It looks like at the top, there's like a little bit of a timer that basically dictates, I guess, like just how long we have to beat the level. So we have to maybe take this one a little slower just because, whoa, those bumps at the end were crazy. Getting across the goal, though. All right, so this is a nice and easy concept. This is a nice and easy concept, like I said. Pretty chill. Okay, oh my gosh. Except we have to make some killer jumps. No! Okay, and then as soon as we hit the ground, unfortunately, it says you flipped out. We really did. All right. So let's give it another go. Let's try to beat this one. And now it looks like it might not be <laughs> randomly generated. And it's also looking like as soon as any part besides the tires hits the rocks or the ground or whatever, your car slash truck just explodes into a glorious ball of just destruction. All right. I got to stop flipping out here. Apparently it's getting mad at me. All right. Level three already. Kind of a challenge. That part's tough. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. See, I was trying to let off the gas so that I could, like, re, like, align my car so that it would fall, like, straight down. But I guess that's just not how these physics work. We got to keep going forward. It's like the movie Speed. You just, like, kind of have to not stop going. You just got to keep going. There we go. Leveled up to level four. Now, it doesn't look like I need any of these stars that I'm collecting because I already got to unlock... Pretty unfairly, might I add. I got to unlock every single truck slash car in this game. But if you are someone who, uh, you know, has to save up stars, it looks like it's pretty quick to do so. All right. Now, it looks like also what happens is once you let off the gas, if you're in midair, your car does stop rotating as well. So whatever your orientation is, if you are like, you know, your butt's kind of in the air, <laughs> or your nose is straight down. If you let off the gas, unfortunately, it looks like you're just going to go flying straight. Oh, wait, no. Maybe it's just like the, the, the truck is back heavy because there at the peak of the jump there, I let go of the gas and like the car like over rotated. And oh, oh, okay. All right. So this one, maybe we go up a little bit slower. Maybe we get up a little bit slower here. Maybe we, maybe we should... Switch to, like, a, a truck truck. I don't know if, like, they have different attributes, and this one might be just, like, harder to use. Okay, rock back and forth. All right, we got to beat that timer at the very least. We got to beat that timer. Okay, there we go. So, I think it takes a little bit of patience. I think I may be just playing this a little bit too quick or a little bit too hesitant, where there are moments like these where it's okay to keep going forward because you don't have, like, a big drop-off that's going to, like, flip you too much. Okay. Okay, or maybe I misspoke. I'm not quite sure. Physics is a little bouncy in this game. It's a little bit bouncy, but that's okay because... Oh, uh, gosh. Until you get stuck here. No, don't let me get stuck. Use that momentum. Come on. Come on, car truck thing. Let me go. All right, let's back all the way up here. 
and then go straight forward yes there we go use those big tires use those tires yep okay uh oh we only have 230 left okay all right we did it with barely any time left on the timer there i don't know if that's like an actual timer if that's like the amount of gas i have left or you just get bonus points for finishing it faster and it doesn't matter as long as you beat the level even if that timer zero you just get zero stars then i'm not quite sure all i know is this is pretty fun but it's it's weirdly challenging i'm not like super far into the game yet but i feel <laughs> but i feel like i'm getting challenged now that was sort of like a, a just a drop off i had no idea what was coming up after we fell off that cliff there if i had known maybe i would have taken a little bit slower or a little bit more quickly i don't know um, all I know is that <laughs> all I know is that I'm flipping out a lot here. I am flipping out a lot. Maybe this little camo car thing is not my lucky charm. Maybe maybe I got to maybe I got to invest in a different car. Oh no, I accidentally hit forward. You saw me start doing like a barrel roll like front flip thing there. Okay. So, I'm going to go into trucks quick. I have to pick my lucky charm truck. Has nothing to do with the value of it. Just the one that I think looks really cool. I like this one. It's got the flames. It looks classic. It's pretty neat. Although, no, this one is an actual monster truck. All right, let's drive an actual truck. It is called Truck Climber after all. I feel a little bit weird about driving like a rally car. Oh, yeah. And then already, look at look at this big boy go. It's, it's such a thick car. It's got a lot of weight and heft to it. Just the way a truck should have. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much. But I feel like we were we were getting up the mountain a little bit more sturdy there. I felt a little bit safer. Maybe it's completely a placebo effect. And I'm just going nuts playing this game. Trying to win without exploding. But I felt, I felt like this truck, you know, I, I vibed with this a little bit more. I feel like I'm vibing a little bit better. Because here we, we made it to the, the precipice. All right. No, oh, no, okay, wait, we got stuck. Oh, no, we got stuck. Oh, no, now we can find out what happens when the timer hits zero. Or I can, I guess, just flip like that and explode. All right, we did make it pretty far with this, though. Okay, so the secret is on that jump there, at the end of the, whoa, the end of the road there, the end of this mountain, is you gotta get a little bit of speed, I feel like. And then once you get the speed... Then you can figure out rotation in the air and whatnot. It's, it's tough. Oh, no! <laughs> now, that's what makes this challenging. That's what makes it tricky is you just take, like, the tiniest of tiny little bumps like that. Just a, a slightly wrong way. If you're not holding down the gas fully or you're, like, you know, do, going just a tiny bit too fast. And when you hit one of those bumps, you careen out of control. You over-rotate, and then once the weight of the vehicle takes over, you're doomed. You just go flying. All right, here we go. Let's go super fast. All right. A line. Oh, wow, and we launched. We really launched. We exploded at the end after the finish line, but at least we hit the finish line. That was only level 7, by the way, or level 6, I guess, because this is level 7. Th this game's tough. This game is a huge challenge. This is a lot harder than similar games that I played here on Lagged. I like this because it's really, really challenging me. It makes me feel like uh, it's worth trying these levels over and over again so that I can feel accomplished by beating them. Especially when this type of thing happens. Come on. Use your momentum. Can you not use your momentum there? All right. Kaboom. Boom. Yes. Go up. Oh, you're so close to going up. You're so close to going up. Why won't you go up that? Why won't you go up that? Come on. All right. Here we go. This has got to be the one, right? This has got to be the one. Oh, there we go. All it took was a little bit of rotation. I forgot to hit, like, left and right going up those. Oh, okay. No! Just the, like, like our the gate of our truck kind of hit, like, the, the back of the truck bed, like, kind of hit that a little bit wrong. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. We got to not rotate too much once once we get up too high. Just this first part here, we got to make sure we're doing a little bit of rotation. Rocking the truck back and forth, just like this. Just so that we can uh, get up the freaking mountain here. The mountaintop. Come on. You can do this. This is what you trained your whole life for, truck. I believe in the you that believes in you. You're doing it. Okay, you're doing it. I'm proud of you. 
Okay, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Oh, I almost got unproud of you for a second there. But I would never, never. Oh, now I am. <laughs> So that part right there is really tricky because it gives you another big hump and then you're going to be back on like the gradual staircase upwards type thing. So clearly a lot of challenges in this game. This was only level seven. This game gets hard really fast. And I like that in one of these types of games because it's really arcadey. But it, it, so it's like familiar mechanics. But at the same time, it has a very healthy, very unique amount of challenge in it that I like in an arcade game. So definitely worth checking out. I'm definitely going to jump back into this and try to beat level 7. I'm sure you guys can get a lot farther, though. But hopefully you enjoyed watching me flip out a little bit here. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.